learning middle one. How are you today? Let's start to solve worksheet number five, page 83. Okay, question number one, complete the following statements. Protons carry what, what charge? The protons carry or the charge of the protons is what? The charge of the protons is positive charge, positive charge. So the protons carry positive charge while neutrons carry, neutrons carry neutral charge. Neutral charge because they have no charge. Number two, AU is the sample of what? AU is the sample of gold. Gold element, while AG is the sample of AG is the sample of silver. So AU is the sample of gold, but AG is the sample of silver. Number three, the mass number is the sum of the numbers of what and what which exists in the nucleus. The mass number that's written above the sample of the element, it's the sum of the numbers of the protons and neutrons and neutrons inside the nucleus. Number four, the number of neutrons equal what number minus what number equal the mass number number minus atomic number minus atomic minus atomic number number five the number of what in the nucleus may be equal or greater than the number of what the number of neutrons neutrons may be equal in the nucleus, may be equal or greater than the number of protons. Question number two, write the scientific term, the fundamental building unit of the matter that can take part in the chemical, that can take part in the chemical reactions. This is called atom. So the atom, it is the fundamental, fundamental building unit of the matter that can take part in the chemical reactions. Number two, the number of positive protons in the nucleus. The number of positive uh, protons in the nucleus, it is the atomic, atomic number. Number three, the sum of the numbers of protons and the neutrons. The sum of the, the sum of the numbers of protons and the neutrons in the nucleus, it's called mass number. Mass number. Number four, negatively charged particles. Negative charged particles of negligible mass that re revolve around the nucleus. Its mass is neglected that these particles revolve around the nucleus. So this is the electrons. Question number three. Question number three. What is the, what is meant by what is the definition of the atom? Atom. It is a. I said it here. It is the fundamental building unit of the matter that can take part in the chemical reaction. So the atom. It is a. Fundamental 
fundamental building unit fundamental building unit of the matter fundamental building unit of the matter that can take part take part in the chemical chemical reaction. Take part in the chemical reactions. Page 84. What does it mean by atomic number? The atomic number means it's the number of protons in the nucleus. It's the number of positive new protons in the nucleus. the number of protons number of protons in the nucleus in the Number of protons inside the nucleus. Number three, the mass number. What does it mean by the mass number? It's the sum of protons. Num it's the sum of number of protons, number of protons, and number and number of neutrons. Number of protons and number of neutrons. Question number six. Write the samples of the following element. Okay, write the samples of the following element. Number one, sodium. Its sample is N A. You should write in, in capital letter and the second one in a small letter. Number two, potassium. Potassium, it's from Latin name, so potassium. Uh, its name in Latin name is called calium. So the sample of it, it, uh, of the potassium is K. Chlorine. Chlorine, we should take the first and third first and third letters, so its sample is C, L, we should write C in capital letter and L in small letter. Nitrogen, first letter only, so it's the nitrogen and calcium. Calcium, we should, we take the first letter and uh, second letter, so calcium C A, we should write calcium C in capital letter and A in small letter. Aluminum, we take uh, first letter and second letter. So aluminum A, L, we should write A in capital letter and L in small letter. Last one is phosphorus. Phosphorus, we take the first letter only. So phosphorus is P. Question number five. Give reason for the following. Number one, the atom is electrically neutral. Why the atom is electrically neutral? Why? Because the number of positive protons inside the nucleus is equal to the number of 
magnetic electrons that revolve around the nucleus. So let's write it because the number in place because the number of positive new positive. Okay, of, of positive, the number of positive protons, protons inside the nucleus is equal to the number of negative number of negative electrons that revolve that revolve around the nucleus around the nucleus so the atom is electrically neutral charge okay question number two mass number is usually greater than the atomic number why why the mass number is greater then is larger than the atomic number. Why? Because the mass number is the sum of protons and the neutrons inside the nucleus. But the atomic number is the number of protons only. So, because the mass, the mass number, the mass number, is the mass number is the sum it's the sum of the protons and the neutrons protons and neutrons but the atomic number but the atomic number is the number of protons only. Is the number of protons only. So the mass number is larger than the atomic number. Number three, the nucleus has a positive charge. Why the nucleus have positive charge? Because it contains positive protons and neutral neutrons because it contains positive protons and neutral neutrons. So the nucleus has a positive charge because it contains, contains positive protons and Neutral, neutrons, and neutral neutrons. So the nucleus has a positive charge. Okay, thank you, middle one. See you soon. Goodbye.